John Krasinski is spreading good news with his new YouTube show. Shaquille O'Neal defends his Tiger King appearance alongside Joe Exotic. And Bob Iger foregoes his entire Disney salary amid the coronavirus pandemic. First, John Krasinski is giving us some news to smile about. I'm John Krasinski, and if it isn't clear yet, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. And now, for some good news. The actor, writer, and director just launched a new YouTube series dedicated to only sharing positive news stories, appropriately titled Some Good News. And he even interviewed a familiar face on his first episode. Krasinski presented the show like a nightly newscast, spotlighting several feel-good stories, from public cheers for healthcare workers to interviewing a 15-year-old girl named Coco, who just finished her final chemo treatment and came home to a street lined with her neighbors cheering her on. How did that feel? I was so surprised. I wasn't expecting anything. <laughs> We turned the corner and I saw our friends and I saw more friends and my family and I was just like, so many people were there. And the actor also interviewed none other than his former The Office co-star, Steve Carell. The two shared their fond memories of working on the show together. Part of what was so much fun about it is that everybody in the cast was rooting for everybody else. Next, the Netflix docuseries Tiger King, Murder, Mayhem, and Madness has taken over social media with memes and viewers sharing their take on the wild tale. So if you're one of the cool cats and kittens who've watched, you know Shaquille O'Neal makes an appearance in the popular but controversial doc. Now the basketball icon is defending himself. Tiger King tells the bizarre story of Joe Exotic, a former Tiger Zoo owner who is currently in prison for a murder for hire plot. I've learned from them, but Carol Baskin hates saying, I can't have these tigers. If he ever had an enemy in his life, it was Carol Baskin. On the latest episode of The Big Podcast with Shaq, the former NBA star says that yes, he did visit Joe Exotic's Oklahoma Zoo years ago. We're there and, you know, I dropped some donation for the Tigers foods and all that. We take pictures with Tigers. We been, went back a couple times. Then we go back another time and we find out that he's involved with all this stuff. And then I, actually I stopped going. But according to the former Laker, he doesn't own any Tigers, even though he says he bought two in the dock. I don't harm Tigers. I love Tigers. I love white Tigers. And do I put donations to these zoos to help these Tigers out? I do it all the time. Do I own Tigers personally at my house? No. O'Neal added that he did binge watch the entire Netflix docuseries and found it interesting. Finally, the Walt Disney Company executive chairman Bob Iger will forego his entire salary and recently named CEO Bob Chapek will take a 50% pay cut amid the coronavirus pandemic. According to an email from Chapek sent to employees obtained by The Hollywood Reporter, other executives in the company will also take salary cuts. The news comes days after Disney made the decision to keep all North American theme parks closed until further notice. A statement on Friday said that the company Company has been paying its cast members since the closure of the parks. And in light of this ongoing and increasingly complex crisis, we have made the decision to extend paying hourly parks and resorts cast members through April 18th. Iger has been among the top paid executives in the entertainment and media sector. In the latest fiscal year, Iger earned $47.5 million as chairman and CEO, down from $65.6 million in fiscal 2018. For more on all these stories, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.